Whew. It's hot, and I am late with this segment once again. But it's okay. This is the Stuff Movie Watching Vlogs. This is going to be for the month of July. God, it's already August. I don't believe it. But you know what? The sooner, the sooner it gets to, to fall, the better, because this heat is intense. Anyway, let's get, let's get this started. The first movie I saw was Savages. And I saw that at a free screening with Movie Man Chad. I thought it was good. The movie going experience, however, was not. Too many people talking and translating. There were people who didn't speak English, and they took people who did, and they translated throughout the movie. It was very annoying. Next movie I saw was Hitman, and uh, that was part of the video game movie challenge that I'm doing. Um, you know, I find that movie to be very entertaining. I don't know, well, not very, but it is entertaining. It's passable, so... Uh, because it's it's part of the challenge, I do have a review for that, so you can check that out. Finally saw Act of Valor, and um, I actually liked it. I thought it was really good. Well, not really good, just it had good action, and it was entertaining. Uh, I, I would say a fitting tribute to a man out there uh, overseas doing what they do. Oh, uh, okay. Um, one day, I decided to watch Spider-Man 1 and 2, of course, the the, rainy, the Sam Raimi movies. And, um, dude, I, I fell in love with those movies all over again. I, I love those movies. Um, they're spectacular, in my opinion. And then the next day, I went and saw the amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. Haven't done a review for that one yet. Kind of don't want to. Look, it's it's an okay movie, but I I have my issues with it. But I I'll I'll, I'll do a video for it sooner or later. Same day, I saw the movie Red Tails with my dad. He liked it. I did not. Um, it, the movie has had a lot of criticisms. Uh. And I always wondered why. I kind of figured everybody criticizing it was just racist. Now, um, you know what? Here's the story of the Tuskegee Airmen is a good story, and it deserves to be told again and again. It was already told in 1995 with Tuskegee Airmen, and this was a good film. The news is low budget, and it was a, a cable movie. The fact that this movie outdoes Red Tails, a good budget movie, that's ridiculous. The problem with that movie is the acting, and it's just great action, great special effects. It, it, it's just incredibly corny. Uh, moving on. Part of the uh, video game movie challenge, I had to watch uh, In the Name of the King, A Dungeon, what? A dungeon Siege Tale. That was torture. I felt like I was in a, a dungeon of torture with that movie. Finally saw American Reunion. Some people like it, some people don't. I happen to like it. I, I thought it was funny. I laughed. So. I don't know why I watched this movie. Gone. With Amanda Seyfried. Seyfried? Stirfried? Whatever. 95 minutes gone. That's that. That's what was gone after I finished that movie. It was it was a waste of time. I saw Ghost Rider, the Spirit. Wait, what what's it called? Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance. That is just beyond ridiculous. Like I I think I don't think there will, there will ever be a decent Ghost Rider uh, movie put onto screen. Because, you know, the people that made this movie, they obviously said, nobody gives a shit, why should we give a shit, let's make the most ridiculous movie we can, and put it out there. And that's what they did. I did laugh, it did make me laugh, but it's, it's, a, it, no, it's a stupid movie. Speaking, speaking of stupid, I watched The Three Stooges. And when I, when I say stupid, I'm, I'm referring to myself. I don't know why I watched that movie. 
I don't know slapstick. I'm not even that big of a fan of the Three Stooges, but I was bored. I just needed something to pass the time, so I watched it. You know, I didn't hate it. I actually did chuckle a few times, but wow, it's it's wow, 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 wow. The, man, I, okay, here's another one. I, I watched a lot of shitty movies this this past month. Um, the woman, the woman in black with uh, Daniel Radcliffe. The, wait, what the fuck is his name? Ah, oh, whatever. Um, I didn't like it. I thought it was very dull, and it definitely had a very <laughs> the ending just made the whole movie pointless. Alone in the Dark 2, that, uh, that's a movie that nobody's probably heard of, and that's good. It's part of the video game movie challenge that I had to do. Just plain awful. Uh, continuing on with, uh, the James Bond series, because I've been watching the James Bond series, uh, Diamonds are forever, live and let die, and the man with the golden gun. Now the man with the golden gun, I had to watch because uh, we lit them. They're doing a Bond 24 project. In case you haven't heard of it, definitely go to the we lit them channel and check it out. Um, the guy that was going to review that one, uh, I guess I don't know what happened, but I was asked to take over, which is. Kind of fitting because I originally was going to volunteer for that one just because I didn't want some poor soul to have to torment themselves with that movie. But uh, I instead chose On Her Majesty's Secret Service because I thought that that deserved a good review. Um, so it was fitting, it was, it was actually kind of gratifying to be able to, you know, review that piece of shit and let that movie have it, you know? So, you go to read the thumb, you can check out that review, and uh, definitely check out the rest of the reviews on Read the Thumb. Uh, recently, uh, Super War, she reviewed The Spy Who Loved Me. She did a great job on that. And Movie Man Chad reviewed Moon Ranker. Is that what it's called? I don't remember. Check those out. Uh, next movie I saw, Far Cry. Again, part of the video game movie challenge, a movie that probably some people haven't heard of. It was awful. Uh, finally, I finally saw the Muppets. I finally saw the Muppets. Oh my god. I loved it. I was. Everything is great. Everything is great. I got the whole wide world in the palm of my. I better not sing because, you know, I'll probably hear a copyright infringement. Shit. But I loved it! I loved it! Speaking of love, speaking of satisfaction, The Dark Knight Rises. Saw it twice. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know, it's a vlog, so why not? I got a story to tell, let me tell it. Both times <laughs> that I went to go see, I saw it in two different theaters. Sadly, I, I have not seen it in IMAX. I feel a sneeze coming on. Um, the first time I saw it was in a great theater, my favorite theater, and I sat underneath an air conditioning vent. It was hitting me. All throughout the movie, I got cold, and I actually had to go take a leak. That pissed me off, but I was screaming so much, I, 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 I was afraid I was going to annoy somebody. Second time I went to go see it, I saw it in a theater that I'm not too fond of, and, uh, for those of you in, in California, uh, and near where I live, the video, the, the Starlight Theaters in video, I don't, uh, I don't care for that one. Um, my family and I went to go see it over there, and we sat all the way at the top. There was no other seats available. Um, again, I sat underneath the air conditioning vent, but it was so cold. They had it on full blast that in the middle of the movie, I was shivering. And I, I, I couldn't even move. By the time we left the theater, I felt like I was thawing out. So, I don't know, I just had to share that. Uh, oh, yeah, oh God. Uh, Max Payne, I saw that again, part of the challenge. 
I did like a 13 minute rant on that one. So check that one out if you had the time. Then I saw Step Up Revolution. Uh, me and Movie Man Chad, we went to go see that for in a free screening because otherwise I wouldn't be talking about it. I would not pay to see something like that. Uh, we did a collab review. It's on Movie Man Channel's, uh, well, <laughs> Movie Man Chad's channel exclusively. Very cool video. We act real silly. He dances throughout the video. Definitely check that out if you haven't. Uh, and I did a solo review for my own uh, channel, so you can check that out. I saw a movie in the, uh, that came in 1999 called American Movie, which it's a documentary about a small-time film director who is trying to do his first feature-length horror film, and of course he encounters problems along the way, financial most, uh, mostly. It was a damn good documentary. Very interesting, very funny. Uh, yeah, if you have not seen that, definitely check out American Movie. Then I saw a movie that came out in 1982. I don't know why I hesitated there. It, it came out in 1982, so I, I don't know, I just hesitated. Um, it's called Attack Force Z, and it's uh, one of Mel Gibson's earliest movies. He, uh, he has his Australian accent in that one. Also, Sam Neill is in the movie. And it has to do with Allied Nations, uh, not Allied Nations, Allied Forces, uh, American, British, and you, uh, Australian. Uh, that, uh, wow. The heat is, it's intense in this room, it's hot. Uh, Allied Forces go to the South Pacific to rescue survivors of a plane crash. Uh, very standard movie, standard action adventure, it's kind of boring in the middle. The action, I have an itch on my foot. The action, oh man, got fucking mosquito bites. Um, the action is okay, it's very standard, I'm, I'm, I'm wasting too much time on this movie. Then I saw Resident Evil Degeneration, which is a CGI animated movie. Once again, part of the challenge that I'm doing, I did a review for that one, of course, and, uh, yeah, it was good, it was good. And the last movie I saw, just randomly for no reason, I actually have that right here, so I might as well show it, I can't reach it, never mind. Um, Tigerland, with, uh, damn, that's the movie, it is, uh, with Colin Thoreau, uh, Colin Thoreau's first American movie, I believe. It was directed by Joe Schumacher. You know, I actually did a review for it. Uh, the review I did for it was just, it was actually for a test because monetization, uh, well, not monetization, but I've been having a lot of trouble getting my, um, wow. <clears throat> been, uh, uh, having, you know what? Check out the review. It, it explains why I reviewed it. Um, but yeah, you know, that's a good movie. That's a good movie. Ah, I really, it's the movie, it is. Um, I am not going to edit this video because it's too hot, so just think of it as hanging out with me and you can see how, what am I saying? You know, ah, okay, whatever. I need to go jump on that pole. Um, anyway, uh, that's it. I didn't really see anything too ob obscure or, you know, unique. So, just, just pretty basic stuff. Um... That, that's all I gotta say, really. Uh, like, share. No, don't don't share. You don't want to share this video. Whoever you share it with, that person, the receiver's gonna be like, "What the fuck did you just send me?" Uh, so anyway, I'm just gonna go before I make a complete ass out of myself. And uh, alright, peace or watch at the child, whatever. It's hot. Bye.